Alrighty, boys. So today we got this giant box. Let me lift this up so you can see how big this is. So this is something that I won off of eBay uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it finally arrived here today. And what I wanted to show you is what you can get just buying off of eBay, apparently. I, I didn't even know such things existed. But anyways, this cost me 85 I think. I'll put it up. Uh, but 85 plus like $120 shipping with taxes and whatnot. It was like $220, maybe $230 total. So I've already gone through a little bit of it, but we're going to actually go through this live. and uh, Or I guess live for me. And you guys can actually see what you can do if you're hunting and where, you know, you can source. Anybody can source on eBay, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, real quick, got some business cards in. So these guys I put in with uh, all of the games that ship out. This is something that I started doing. So this way, hopefully we can get some more big collections from uh, people that are buying. So anything sold on eBay or locally, they're going to be getting one of those. So right off the bat, this is one of the biggest things that I found. This is right on top originally. So this is just the box for the 25th anniversary. And a little bit deeper, we have a sealed version of the bonus disc. I don't know if the game disc is in there or not, but uh, if we sc uh, scroll on over here, I actually have both right there. So once I saw the box, I was like, that's really cool. I can now complete that. That's worth a little bit extra. But this guy right here being sealed means that this is actually gonna be even more valuable. So that is really, really awesome. It feels, no, there's nothing in there. Um, it's just a very thick box. So that's really cool. And then let's just start pulling out some games and see what's in here. I'll throw some of the bigger ones to the side. So Final Fantasy 12. Let's see. What's funny is a lot of these are actually complete. I thought that they were going to be in really rough shape, really bad shape. This is actually really, really good. That's, that's in nice condition. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. This is actually a very, very good game to get. I'll throw the price charting up for that one. Halo Reaches, always useful. Final Fantasy X. Maximo, this is a really cool game. Um, yeah, so glad that's in there. We're just going to kind of go through Ford Racing 2. That's kind of a nothing burger. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Box is a little beat up, but we can always fix that. Uh, that's kind of classic. And then surprisingly enough, some of these like oddball pinball games, I'll have to check them. I'll throw up the price charting for this. Might be a nothing burger. Might actually be a thing. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, let's get to digging, boys. What else we got? Need for Speed Underground 2. That is in rough shape. So this will effectively be sold as disc only. Well, there's not, no manual anyway. So that's not too bad. Uh, a lot of people consider Need for Speed the uh, or Underground to be the best of the Need for Speed series. Uncharted 3s, these are great bundlers with PlayStation 3s. Project Gotham Racing 2, and this is really clean. This is in really good shape. Feels complete. Let's open it up. And it is. So I'll have to look that up. That might actually be worth a thing. Um, especially in that condition. That's actually really, really nice. Top Spin. Sing Party. You know, that's the Wii U game that I was really hoping to see. And then, unfortunately... We got uh, X-Men, the official game, not uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine again, which who knows, that might actually be in here. Uh, that one would be really nice. That one's selling for quite a lot of money, especially the PlayStation 3 version. Uncharted 2. All right, that's pretty awesome. Medal of Honor. So like a lot of these are going to be very common games, uh, but there's a few gems sprinkled within. Let me see. Okay, it was feeling very light, so I wanted to make sure it was in there. So no manual, but that's fine for a game like that. Spy Hunter with the Rock. Deus Ex. This is the second best Deus Ex game, in my opinion. The original is the best. Okay, Burnout. I know some of these have value. Off the top of my head, I have no idea on this one. I'll have to check that out. I'll throw up the price charting for that one. Uh, front lines. And then Force Unleashed on the Wii. All right. So I know you guys are like, Chris, you said there's some heavy stuff in here. Yeah, they're in there. <laughs> they're definitely in there. Now, this one, he did say that he was missing uh, two discs, but he's actually only missing one. He's got disc, uh, I guess that's three. And then we got all the manuals, which is really nice. Oh, 
Oh, sorry guys, having trouble doing this one-handed. Um, come on over here. So we got disc four and we have disc two. So we're only missing disc one. Um, I do have an incomplete set, so I'm hoping I have disc one. I'm actually not sure which one I'm missing, but I'm hoping I can complete this. This is actually in pretty decent shape and it's got all the stuff, which is good, but like the, the actual box is in good shape. Manuals are in good shape, so I'm hoping my other incomplete one has the first disc. And then we have Oblivion, the limited edition. This one, I think, is... Hold on, guys. I need two hands for this. Uh, I believe that this one... Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, is actually reasonably valuable. Because you got this nice little book over here. We got the game. We got the bonus disc. So it is completely complete which is uh, really nice, and it's in pretty decent shape. The slipcover is a little rough, but uh, yeah, I'll throw up the price charting on this guy. I think that this is worth a few bucks nowadays because of the limited collectory editions that it is. I'll just sit that over there and keep that safe on there. All right, and if you hear my son in the background, he's playing with his mom right now. Uh, so we got more Wii Fit stuff. Believe it or not, I got a Wii set up. That's somewhere over there. But I got a balancing board, and I'll just package that with it. I was going to sell like a, a Wii Fit bundle. Pro fishing, nothing crazy there. And then we got Call of Duty. Here, let's do like this. Have some sort of organization. Put disc games over there. I'll just kind of keep that one separate. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, it's a good game. This is a good one right here. Sonic Black Knight. This does not feel complete. And we have uh, the Secret Ring. So we have the wrong Sonic game in there. Um, Black Knight is actually more valuable. So that is kind of a bummer. But whatever. You know, when you buy a collection like this, not all, everything's going to work. But remember, only 200 bucks. <laughs> and then Cabela's, you know, not a big deal there. Battlefront 2, though, pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Notice we haven't yet to really make a dent. We have yet to really make a dent. NHL... Tiger Woods, NBA, Sing It. We have a sealed version of Battleborn on PS4. Um, I don't think that even sealed this is worth anything, but hey, it's sealed. Uh, I know another one, another one sealed. Okay, I mean, you know, if I can get five bucks out of each, that'd be just fine. And then we have World Series Baseball. This is for Intellivision. This is the box. This might actually... Be worth a thing. We do have the manual. I'm not really sure what something like this would be worth, but put that up there and uh, keep that nice and safe. I'll start a, another stack right here. So we got a uh, Loco Roco on PSP Loose. I've never heard of that. Then we got Glover on N64. I've heard from a lot of people this is a fun game. I'll probably end up keeping this one for the boys, to be honest with you. But we got that. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. We got some loose carts, some more PSP stuff. Let's throw all this up here. Okay, so we got Daxter on PSP loose. And then there's a lot of these. Lords of Dogtown. I, 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 don't, I don't even know, but I think there's like five or six of those in there. Is that a movie or something? Um, what I find funny is there's Game Boy like cases and then there's like loose carts. It's like you couldn't put them in there thanks guy uh we got test drive uh for game boy then we got uh world championship for game boy good old nba jam for genesis keep that over here with the carts then we got a game boy insert manual in and of itself not valuable but if you pair it with something that's pretty good we got some more cartridge stuff right here judge dread we got the judge dread for super nintendo which is cool Extreme G on N64. That's actually a lot of fun. I remember playing that as a kid. And then we have uh, F1 Race for Game Boy. So, yeah, there's a pretty good eclectic mix in here. It's mostly PlayStation stuff, but, uh, yeah, obviously there's some other things mixed in. So we got Trigger Man. This one is complete. I opened that one up before. Apparently that's not worth anything, but it looks really cool. Uh, Men in Black 2. And we got Pro Fishing, more Tiger Woods, uh, Hummer Badlands. My guess is this guy 
uh, source this stuff from like, I don't know, storage locker cleanouts or something, and then just bundled it together. That'd be my guess. Uh, Red Faction 2, that's a pretty good one. Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. I know some of these have value. I'm not really sure which ones, though. Uh, da Vinci Code. And then we have MLB The Show 06. Most sports games, not super valuable unless they're fun. Like, uh, you know, like your NBA jams and stuff like that. So street, you might be seeing some winners down there. We'll, we'll get to them. Uh, NCAA 07 on the PS2. Uh, just so you know, NCAA 11 on PlayStation 2 does have value. Head coach. Actually, I actually remember a lot of people really, really got into that. We got Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Rogue Trooper. I actually think that this might be a thing. Uh, so sit that up there. I'll throw a price charting up on that one. We got a DVD for Advent Children. And we got another sealed bat Battleborn. Yeah. All right. So somebody had those in a storage locker and they're like, yeah, we'll just give those away. All right. Let's get some of these cartridge things. I know that these are good. The These are winners. And we'll grab a few extra things. Okay. So Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. This is a big one. This was kind of right on top. And I was like, oh, I'm getting most of my money back real fast. Uh, sounds like some plastic broke off in there. This will need to be cleaned out. This right here is $40 plus. So from a $220 lot, uh, that's about 20% of it right there. And then Booger Man, this is also about a $20 bill. So these two right here, that's about $60 recovered in two games. Madden. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got Super RC. We've got some manuals and some inserts. A lot of sports stuff in here. Um, manuals and stuff can have value. You know, if somebody's trying to do a CIB collection, they're missing a manual or something. By the way, this is full of loose discs. We'll go through that here in a minute. All right, we got the two towers. That goes with uh, the other one that we got. And we got Super Trucks Racing. My kid would love that. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Uh, I know regular Metal Gear Solid 2, not a big deal, but uh, I have no idea on this one. So I'll throw that up, the price charting up on that one. Whoa, I did not see that. Did not see that. Whoa. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> I, I missed this one. I did not see that in there. Okay, so this is World Series Baseball on the Dreamcast 2K1. Sealed. That is sealed. That's factory sealed, guys. Whoa, that is nuts. I was not expecting sealed Dreamcast in here. That is absolutely mind-blowing. I'll throw up the price charting. I have no idea. It could be like 30 bucks. It could be 300 uh, I would say that's probably my range. 30 to 300 on that one. Uh, okay, it's kind of hard to move on because it's just like, whoa, especially when you're not expecting uh, that. Uh, anyways, so we got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's a good bundler. And then Lego Batman. These are super common, but let's be real. Anybody who's rebuying one of these to play with their kids, they're going to want these like Lego fun games. So like a lot of people will pass up on them. If you can get them cheap enough, pick those up. People love them. All right, let's grab a few more stacks. See if we can get some more sealed Dreamcast. That would be real nice. Maybe I'll take a vacation uh, off the sealed stuff. Whoa! I, I really want to know how much that's worth. I have no idea. Uh, so we got Star Wars Starfighter. To our Hero World Tour. Now we're getting to some fun stuff. And this is really clean, guys. This is really clean. So we got Mega Man, the Anniversary Collection. I know that's not super valuable. Oh, excuse me. Got to open it up. Uh, but it is complete, and it's in fantastic condition. So that is awesome. There's a, another Mega Man in there, and I was like, what? All right, so we got Rise of the Tomb Raider. That feels real light. Let me check. It's in there. All right. Just want to make sure. Force Unleashed on the Xbox, or the PlayStation 3. I'm not going to lie, guys. This one's my favorite. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Star Wars games. If you want to feel like a crazy Jedi, that'd be the way to go. We have Wolfenstein 2 on the PS4. <clears throat> Sorry, the New Order is just way better. That game, not so much. Uh, FIFA Soccer 13 on the PlayStation 3. Once again, kind of like with the sports games, some of them have value. This one I'm unsure of. Uh, could be a nothing burger, but FIFA tends to hold its value better than... Um, 
like football and, and the rest of that. It, it just does. So we'll, we'll check in on that one. Then we have Marvel uh, Super Heroes for PS3. Once again, it's a great bundler. Anybody buying a PS3 to play with their kids, they're going to want those. So very happy with that. Same thing with that guy right there. Um, let's see. We got Need for Speed Underground Rivals for PSP. Awesome. And let's... Uh, oh, we got a old school 128 megabyte memory stick. There are some PSPs in here as well. Um, they're broken, not working, but there's two of them. So hopefully I can sandwich them together and make one good one. Ooh, that one's pretty good. That one's okay. I think that's 10 to $15. I got the, the really good one up here. Where is it? Oh, I got this the other day for $2 and that's with the slip cover. I have that up for $60 right now because good luck finding that with the slip cover. Uh, anyways, so we got some more Wii games, Wii party game. Once again, some of these party games do have a lot of value. I'll have to check them. These aren't games that I normally shoot for. Uh, we got cars, we got up, you know, once again, Somebody's buying a Wii for their kids, you know, relive their childhood. They're going to want that stuff. Uh, Medal of Honor. Knockout Kings. This feels complete. Now, what's also interesting is some of these might, ugh, excuse me, not, might not have their actual discs in there. We might end up getting something completely different and maybe a lot better in some of these. All right, so SSX3, always fun. Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, a lot of these are kind of broken. So any of the good ones are going to probably need new cases. Ugh, look at that. Um, so we got Underground. This is Undercover. Uh, and then we have Need for Speed Underground. Okay, so not the right game. Exactly what I was just talking about. Uh, but this is the most desirable one, I believe. Although Undercover, I think, does have some pretty good value. I had a vid on the 360, and uh, it went for a lot more than I was thinking. NBA 2K13, these guys are actually reasonably valuable. Uh, it's either this one or this, the other one. It, the original Army of Two is worth the least, and then one of the other ones is actually worth a good bit. So it's either that one or the other one. They're both in here. So one of them is pretty good. Homefront, this is actually a fun game, <laughs> by the way, if you haven't played it. Not the, uh, the, the Revolution one. That one's not so good. I played that here on the channel. That wasn't too good, but that one's... Fun. FIFA 18. Hannah Montana, boys. This is, I know that's the one you guys were all waiting for. That was the big show. Oh, no, here's the big show. Here you go. Show 12. FIFA 09. Um, yeah, so I'll edit in if any of these are kind of uh, heavies, you know, that I'm not, that I'm just kind of glossing over. Obviously, it's not that one. Uh, looks like we got some more over here. What is this? Uh, Formula One 2012. That one has a chance at it. Tiger Wood, including the Masters, PGA Tour 13. Cool Porter 3, PlayStation 1. Not in there, case only. Boo, boo this man. That's unfortunate. Star Ocean. Surprisingly enough, I, I checked out a couple of these and they weren't that valuable, but... Remember what I said, anime stuff, PlayStation 2 era or earlier, usually pretty good. Uh, we'll have to look into this guy. Yep, that's the one you were wanting. That was the one that you were wanting right there. Zomba. Madden 13, no biggie. Madden 11, even less of a biggie. And MVP 06. So, lots of sports games, which is what you expect from something like this. But I'd say it's a pretty fair mix between... Cheapo sports games and other stuff. All right. Ugh. All right, so we got Kingdom Hearts, Greatest Hits Edition. Once again, it might be something that somebody, you know, if they're rebuying an old collection, maybe they'd be really interested in. Same thing with, like, Gran Turismo. They don't have a lot of value in and of themselves, but some people want them. You can make a big PS2 bundle. That'll help sell them. Assassin's Creed 3. Family game night, I wouldn't expect to uh, have too much value. I'm going to get rid of this so I can start stacking. That's going to be the uh, really rough pile, I guess. Rock Band 2 on the Wii, which I still have the drums. Still got the Rock Band 2 drums, so maybe I'll throw the game in with it, right? Um, then we have, once again, Gran Turismo 3. 
SSX3 again, except this time on PlayStation, and Destroy All Humans. Also a very fun game, by the way. Um, on PC, they remastered it. it. It's really good. I think PS4 and Xbox One as well got the remaster. I just happen to have it on PC. Ooh, there's God of War. Can't argue with that. People like that. When I say people like that, that means it'll sell. Uh, this is in pretty good shape. Crash 2. It is greatest hits. It is there. All right. Uh, I changed my mind. Not the best shape, but I do have replacement cases, so no biggie. That's an easy fix. Overall, looking pretty good. And this lot's actually the reason why I ended up buying this guy, because they said that these were really scratched up and in rough shape. Let me just rip open uh, this guy right here. Most of the ones that are in cases are actually not that bad from what I've seen. So like, you know, it's got some scratches, but that's not too bad. We can take care of that, no problem. So, yeah, I'm actually much happier with this purchase than I was anticipating. It's also a lot more stuff than I was anticipating. All right, Midnight Club 2. We got Buzz Jr. and Robo Jam. Like, this just seems so odd that this might be a thing. I'll throw it up, uh, the price charting up for that one. Resident Evil 6. Street Black Label, which is actually good. This, this game series is awesome, guys. If you haven't played these, this is what I'm talking about. Like, these sports games, NFL Blitzes, people love that stuff. Um, if I'm going to play a basketball game, it's going to be one of these. All right, Black Ops. We got uh, some DS. We got some Brain Age. Then we got StarCraft, Brood War. I'm probably going to keep this for me, to be perfectly honest. I don't actually have it anymore. I lost them in a move a long time ago. I just never bought them again. Bust a move for DS. Hot Shots Golf 3. We got ourselves a GTA 5 for the 360, which is missing uh, the, the actual game disc, which is unfortunate. I have so many of these discs. <laughs> the game's disc just gets so roughed up. Uh, but I think it's got the map and everything, so that's actually pretty good uh, for making a complete bundle if I can actually get some play discs in stock all right let's grab the god of war stack see what's in here oh notice we're not even halfway done yet guys god of war in a very rough case oh it's missing no all right so we got a manual and some box art it's okay it's okay i'm sure i'll come across a god of war at some point genji dawn of the samurai i looked this up apparently this is worth nothing like if, if i were just Put it on the spot. It's a game I never heard of. And if it's like, hey, is this game worth 20 bucks or more? I would have said yes. Uh, it's not. Uh, then we have Virtual Fighter Revolution or Evolution. Um, my guess is that's probably worth more. Uh, and then we have Command and Conquer 3 on the 360. Black Ops 3. This isn't even worth the case, to be honest. Red Steel. Heard some good stuff about this uh, on the Wii. Looked kind of fun. And then Portal 2. Portal 2 is a, a pretty good one to have. Obviously, Orange Box would be better, but I'll take it. Oh, we're getting into more stuff I didn't check out. This is further down. I didn't go all the way to the bottom. So we got Fast and the Furious and then some Japanese writing. I have no idea, guys. And then we got... New York crosswords. Okay. DS games always feel empty to me because they're, you know, basically just SD cards. They don't weigh anything. All right. We got LA Rush. Okay. Ace Combat 4. These games are awesome. I love... The first game I played on the PlayStation was Ace Combat. Love that game. We got Cake Mania. That actually sounds fun. We have another Wii U singing game. Somebody on the Wii U really liked their singing. Uh, they loved their karaoke's, apparently. We got yet another X-Men uh, <laughs> official game. Not not the good one. Then we got Dark uh, James Cameron's Dark Angel. There's actually another Dark Angel in here. And I thought it was this, because I'm like, Dark Angel. I remember that. That was like early 2000s or something. So this guy actually had both. So he had a thing for the Dark Angels. And then we had uh, NASCAR, the game, the, the real game. All right, let's pull up these guys over here. Ugh. 
as you can see, this is a little bit more challenging one-handed. There we go, Resident Evil 4. That's pretty good. Let me make sure that that's complete. And it is, yay! Winning. We got some broken plastic, that's always fantastic. And my trash can's a little far away. Can he make it? Oh, for two. All right, so then we got Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, more plastic. Ghosts. <laughs> we got a Halo, which you need these if you're gonna be selling original Xboxes. Complete. Nice. These guys are great to, for bundling. One more for two. I might just, there we go. We got an Oblivion, another Oblivion. That's the Game of the Year edition. And then we have the Game of the Year edition of Fallout. So bundle those together. Maybe throw like 15, 20 bucks on it. Call it a day. Get those going. Dishonored. Be a uh, 2K12. This is a good one. Ratchet and Clank. Not Greatest Hits edition. Uh, so that's pretty good. I guess that'll go up there. That's a good game. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but it's a good game be a Kong Purple Haze. This might be worth a buck or two, because I've never, ever, ever heard of that. Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. Legacy of Cain, Defiance. Ugh. Final Fantasy X2, Black Label. I know the Greatest Hits version is not worth anything, but the Black Labels are usually worth about five bucks more, which means if they're going for like 10 or less, I won't even bother selling them on eBay. But if it can get uh, around $15 or more, uh, not including shipping, so basically $20, then I'll start selling them on eBay. And we maybe it'll get there. I don't know. It's in pretty good shape, though. Uh, Pro BMX 2. And we have, uh, what is that, Sprint Cars? All right. I might keep some of those for my kids. My kids love car stuff. Oh, let's just get this guy right here. That's another Lord of Dogtown. There's a lot of them in here. And Command and Conquer for N64. Not super valuable, but still really cool to get. I'll take all the N64 games I can, because people love that stuff. Madden. PlayStation 2 Hot Wheels. Stunt Truck. Borderlands 2. Battlefield 2. And just because you don't have enough of it, Skyrim! Yay! More Skyrim! Now, this one might be a thing. Uh, not for individual package sale Halo 4. This might go from a nothing burger to actually being worth something. Worst case scenario, it's a good bundler. Once again, you sell an Xbox 360, just throw all the Halo games that you got laying around in with them. Um, that, that's my advice. Ugh, hold on, I need two hands for a sec. Get in there. There we go. We got some more manuals, F1 race, which I think we have over there. So we can pair that up, alleyway. Freedom Fighters. I didn't play uh, too much of that, but it, it definitely seems kind of fun. It's something that I've played here recently. I didn't play it back in the day. All right, Oblivion, we're gonna have to use you as a stack. We got Midnight Club, Greatest Hits. Nothing, nothing better than Frogger, boys. Frogger's Adventures, might actually be fun. We got some more Fantasy Star. I think uh, maybe it was this one. There was another one that I checked. It really wasn't that big of a deal. But once again, I could be wrong. Um, this one actually surprised me. I was like, this seems very uncommon. And it is. This is actually worth a pretty decent bit. Firefighter FD18. So that, I think that was like 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, Mass Effect 3. Yeah, this is the one that I checked. Uh, Star Ocean, End of Time. Like once again, this is what I saw. I was like, oh, anime people, PS2, multiple discs. Unfortunately, not, not super valuable. Unlike this guy. Now, unfortunately, this is a uh, disc only, but it is a Hollywood video. So I'm actually going to market it as the Hollywood video edition because some people like to collect this stuff, like blockbuster cases and whatnot. So it might add a few bucks. It is the uh, greatest hits version of Manhunt, but this is highly sought after. So that's a good one just like this guy so we have nba street two so what's better than one two what's better than two three uh but all these games are great but that one's got uh decent value on it
Boom Blocks. Another Battlefront 2. Another Fast and Furious. We got Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. This is pretty fun. Ooh, we're starting to get... I haven't seen these. So, Tribes, Aerial Assault. This might be a thing. I don't know. Tribes, I, I remember as PC stuff. Now, these Ninja Turtle games... This one is not super valuable, but two and three, I sold two already, and uh, my, my version of three, I'm not really sure if I want to sell. It's got a pretty deep scratch on there, even though it's working, but those are pretty good, and people want them. Shrek 2. And Batman Begins. All right, I see another Halo in there. I'll take all the Halo CEs I can get my hand on. I'll take them all. What do we got here? We got All Star 99. Just get some of these Lucy's. So we got uh, Motocross Maniacs. And then another Lords of Dogtown thing. We can get rid of that. See, there's the other Dark Angel, even though it's upside down. Oh, GBA game. What do we got? Uh, nobody's going to buy that. I'll give that away for free to somebody. <sighs> nope, there's one of the PSPs. Come on, guy. Sorry. Having three hands would be really nice. I should probably get a GoPro or something. Uh, so we got the Fallout New Vegas for PlayStation 3. Assassin's Creed 2, the best of the Assassin's Creed. If you disagree, you're you're wrong. All-Star Baseball with Derek Jeter on the GameCube. Oh, and it's in there. It's not complete. And that one's going to need some help, but I'm pretty sure we can fix that one up. So, boom, there we go, GameCube. There are other GameCube games in here, but this one I was not expecting, although I doubt that's really worth a whole lot. Hot Wheels for the DS. Another Halo CE, Black Label, Game of the Year Edition. I believe the Game of the Year Edition is the most valuable one. Um, opened. Another Assassin's Creed 2. I saw this, I was like, ooh. Yeah, I can feel it. The map's in there. However, the game isn't. So this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to hold on to. Because if I can get a loosey-goosey on that one, that sells pretty good. Oh, look at that. We got... Let's see if we can do it again, boys. I'm right-handed, by the way. Oh, we got it. Left-handed. Just because two Gran Turismo 3s makes no sense. Three Gran Turismo 3s. Now, now we're cooking. And then this is a first print, I believe, of Kingdom Hearts with the shiny front label. So that's pretty cool. There it is, Need for Speed Underground. Like I said, out of all the Need for Speed games that you want to find, most of the time it's going to be that one, especially on PlayStation 2. All right, so let me get these PSPs out of here. So I'm not really sure what the issues are with them. I'll have to mess around. I'm just kind of taking a look at the screens. It looks a little scuffed up. We'll see if we can, like I said, hodgepodge two into one if we have to. This one looks a little bit rougher. We're missing the little guy here. So my guess is we're going to try to make this one and that one into this one. Let's put that over there. There you go, guys. That's another good one right there. It's sun faded as all get out, but they are in there. Resident Evil 4 for GameCube. It's not worth a ton of money, but it's highly sought after. We have both discs complete. Uh, I think I'll actually reprint a better cover and just give them this one. Um, whoa, that is in really nice shape. So that is awesome. Let me see the other one. Come on, baby, no money. Yep, that's in pretty good shape too. Quick resurface in this, guys. Flawless. All right, so the only thing wrong with this is this cover art. So I'll I'll ship it with the original one, but I think I'll get a, a reprint for that just so it, it looks nice. Uh, and then this one, this is actually pretty good as well. Mega Man X Command Mission. It's a Mega Man X game that I'd never heard of. Unfortunately, it is disc only because, well, it's from like a Hollywood video or something, but it's still worth a decent bit. I'll throw that up for you guys. So... Then we have Need for Speed Undercover. This one is actually the game that it's supposed to be. Terminator 3. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then we have uh, chain, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Chain of Memories, also with the foil cover, which is cool. Star Wars Battlefront 1. There it is, another God of War. Let's see if that one's in there. That one is in there. This is not a Greatest Hits disc. So what we'll do is we will hodgepodge this together with the other one that we tossed around somewhere, and we will make that a complete black label. We got Jack and Daxter. Always fun. And The Simpsons the Game. Now this on uh, Xbox 360 did really well for me. Not sure how the PlayStation 2 version will do, but I'm sure it's still worth a couple of bucks. So that's really nice. Uh, we'll pick up. Oh, feels like I got something else sealed. Does not feel like Dreamcast, though. Who wants to be a millionaire on PC, right? Yeah. Oh, no, this is PlayStation. Okay, since it's PlayStation, it might actually be worth a buck or two. Uh... I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably just bundle this with a PlayStation 1 system, which are not very desirable, but just throw it in. But we'll see. It might might be a thing. It's definitely no crash. I'd rather have a crash. Another crosswords. There's that Dark Angel I was telling you about. Then we got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Then we got Metal Honor. Here we go. Here we go. Ratchet and Clank, Black Label. Okay, it is. Okay, when I see the stickers, I'm like, please don't be a Hollywood video. And it's complete. That is nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got Juiced 2. Somebody like their racing and their sports. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. I think that this actually is one of the more valuable Tony Hawk games. Then we have Tetris Worlds. All right, here's another anime thing. All right, that's what I thought was sealed. It is not sealed. And is this like a blockbuster thing? All right, so I have no idea. This this might be good. And this might be a nothing burger. That does appear to be the real label, just in a uh, different package, different box, but we can fix that. It's in a blockbuster case, but it does feel like the real label. It's in decent shape. So, yeah, that could be... Anything, but I've never seen or heard of this before, so that's usually a good sign. It means it's got a decent chance. Alrighty. All right, we're getting to the bottom, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. Final Fantasy X. Metal Gear 2. It's a good bundler. FIFA. 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 Destiny. Ooh, there we go. That's good. So, Scooby-Doo on the original Xbox. It's, hold on. I don't like these, like, floating around. Let me go get it in there. I remember that's, that's actually a pretty good find right there. That should be pretty good. We got a loose disc just floating around in here. Hey, there's our other God of War. All righty. So, we got our Gods of War. Our Gods of War. All right, let's see. Oh, Ooh, speaking of God of War. Okay, so we got Lord of the Rings the Third Age. I've never played this one. I might have to give that a shot before I sell that off. More Maddens. More Devil May Cry. Ugh. More NASCAR. More NBAs. I'm going to feel like a, a game store with all these sports games. More FIFAs. I think I'm just going to throw them all in a bundle and just throw a really, really low price tag on them. All right, we're almost done. Almost there. Underground 2, another one. This one feels complete. It is complete. Sweet. All right. Vietnam, conflict in Vietnam. All right, so I have no idea on that one. It does feel complete. It is not in its original box. It's like a, a blockbuster box. But uh, once again, we can fix that if that's worth the thing. Ooh, there we go. I'm feeling this is pretty good. State of Emergency on PlayStation 2. And let's see the disc. Ooh, that's a bit rough. We're going to do some work on that one. Save this guy. But it does appear to be complete. That's one thick manual. I don't think they'd be able to fit a map in there. 
Rockstar always assume a map. Uh, then we got MXG, whatever. Now this one got me pretty excited. Need for Speed Carbon Limited Edition with the slip cover. I was like, what? And then I was like, oh no. So I did see this one. It is in there. We do have the game. I know that these are actually pretty valuable. I have the, oh, there it is, on the Xbox 360. And I think that's like 30 or 40 bucks on eBay right now. So I was I was getting pretty excited there, but then it all went away. This guy's actually pretty good though. I'll throw up the price charting. And this is complete. This is the Eye of Judgment. So that's a pretty rare one, apparently. And we got some more MBAs. All right, we're almost done. We got some loose stuff in here. What do we got? We got Kim Possible on GBA. A USB cable. This is actually useful. So we got a PS2 memory card, GBA box, and then God of War for PS4 being the last one that is complete. So, all right, we're, we're still not done though, guys. That's, that's just the box. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there. Lots of broken plastic. That's because this weighed so much and in transport. I bet you a lot of these were in better shape when he packed them up originally. That's fine. We, we're definitely getting our money's worth out of here. But we're not done, as I said. Like I said, that, I have no idea on that one. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. And uh, I'm not going to ruin this video by showing you early. So we'll, we'll all see it together. Now, here's one of the biggest disappointments. I did look through these already. So I was like, woohoo! And oh no! Yeah, I don't think there's any save in that. I mean, that that's cracked all the way through. There, unfortunately, she's dead, Jim. That would have been amazing. A lot of these ones are in really rough shape. So when he said needs resurfacing, these are the ones that he was talking about. Like I said, the rest of them are halfway decent. Tekken on the PlayStation 1. There's another good one right here. So Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green on the original Xbox. Even disc only, that's worth a few bucks if we can save it. Not so much. This one, however, Digimon, Digimon World on the PlayStation 1. Sega Saturn. That's right, boys. We even got some Saturn in here. So we got Virtua Fighter 2. Was not expecting this. It's pretty rough, I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to do whatever it takes to try and save this guy. You can't keep those in stock. You, you get as many of those as you can. Even all screwed up on the top. Don't care. People want them. As long as they work, you're good. Shinmu 2 on the original Xbox. Uh, another big one, Marvel Super Heroes on the PlayStation 1. This is the precursor of the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom series. It is rough, I'm not going to lie. We'll see if we can save that guy. Incredible Hulk, Destruction. I don't know, some of these Hulk games are worth quite a bit. You got that spot right there. I'm hoping that's just gunk. And then the rest of the scratches actually don't seem all that bad. Then we got Smash Brawl for the Wii. Not super valuable. That is gunk. Um, this is actually in halfway decent shape. So that'll definitely be savable. Cool Borders 3. Isn't this the one that was empty before? Let me see. Boom. There it is. Ugh. I remember being very disappointed about this. Not so disappointed anymore. Awesome. We got Spyro the Dragon. It's rough. It's rough. Yeah. Once again, that's why I bought this. And then, as I said before, what's better than two? Three. <laughs> Three's better than two. This one's actually not that bad. So this one's definitely going to be savable. And then, unfortunately, not super valuable, but we got a Mega Man X5. That's in pretty darn good shape. So that's already good. Simpsons Road Rage for PlayStation 2. We have yet another Mega Man Anniversary Collection for PlayStation 2. Um, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's two, no, not one. Uh, anyways, that doesn't look too bad. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. 
Mm, I'd say that's probably okay. Didn't look too deep. We have Genesis Collection for the Xbox 360. I actually have this. This is uh, pretty cool. Let's play a lot of the old Genesis games on Xbox uh, 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series consoles. So if you don't have it, you should probably pick that guy up. Uh, and if you have an Xbox. So then we have Ripto's Rage, another Spyro game. I believe this is two. Maybe this is two. I get them kind of mixed up. And we have... I actually think that this is pretty valuable now that I think about it. And that is Onimusha 3. So I know one, super common, I have it. Two, I'm not sure of, but I believe three is very valuable. Uh, and this is not in too bad a shape. So we'll be able to fix this up. And uh, yeah, it's disc only, but hey, if somebody just wants to play the game, they'll buy it. Um, Left 4 Dead 2, which is a good one. Uh, that one right there, guys, I think that'll probably kill it. It's unfortunate. Uh, and then we got a PlayStation 4 game. This looks a little dirty, but these are pretty resistant. Oh, that one right there is looking a little rough, but just Sleeping Dogs, not, not the end of the world. Now, this one I also think is probably a goner. This is a Black Ops 2. This is highly desirable because it works on, once again, the Xbox One and the series consoles. And it's arguably one of the, or arguably the best uh, Call of Duty game. But if you can see that guy right there, I'm pretty sure that'll, that'll kill it. I mean, I'll give it a shot. You know, it's, it's worth trying, but pretty sure that one's a goner. Disney Infinity, not so much. Disney Infinity 2, not so much. NBA, not so much. Toy Story Mania on the Wii. Looks like somebody tried to resurface this and did a really bad job. Uh, or this got really messed up. But none of the scratches look too deep. So I bet you we can save that. Once again, you bundle it with a Wii. People love that with their kids. PS4, NBA 2K16. And then finally, we have a PlayStation 2 NHL face-off. So now we're done. Now we're complete. So I'm going to take a little step back here, show you guys what we got. Oh, hold on. I'm going to hold you up higher. $220 right there. I think we're going to make our money back. Um, in reality, with everything here, I'm thinking this is at least a thousand bucks. Got to be at least a thousand bucks. That's assuming both of those are dead. Throw those out the window. And even if half of these guys work, uh, as long as some of the big ones work out, this has got to be a thousand bucks. And with that, it could be significantly higher. Uh, it could, could be a nothing burger. I still don't know. I'm super interested to check that one out. And I will show you right now. For you guys watching at home, you will now know before I know uh, how much that is actually worth. Have I been talking up nothing? Uh, who knows? But there's definitely some winners in there. State of emergency. I expect that to be pretty good. I actually don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but there's definitely a few games in there uh, that I know for sure. Especially that one. <laughs> that one. Uh, none of the rest of these are too crazy. And I'm, I'm probably going to keep that one. But uh, like Dark Legacy I know is pretty good. I, the last one that I sold was like... 30 or 40 bucks the uh, playstation 2 game and uh yeah so that's a heck of a deal right there forgot almost forgot about our mario right there um i actually know where to get a game disc to pair with that so i can keep these guys together over here and i can have a sealed version uh with a game disc and we'll get pretty good on that one so that i'd say is at least 40 dollars right there this guy's 40 dollars right here this guy's 20 dollars right there that's basically half my investment in just those so yeah um that's really awesome i'm super stoked about this this worked out a lot better than i thought i was kind of when he showed the pictures like you know they were just in stacks but you kind of look over stuff i knew the resident evil 4 was in there uh but that's in fantastic shape that's a well cib that's like 40 bucks 45 bucks uh i guess you could say without the label maybe 35 knockoff maybe like five to ten bucks uh, it technically has the label, but I don't think anybody's going to really be too thrilled with that. So it'll have to be a little bit cheaper. So that right there, we're at like 130, 135. So yeah, I think we could probably say throughout all the rest of this, I should be able to pull out 
I'd say at least 800. I'd say four times my money easily. Um, there's really no way for me to know for sure uh, until we get there. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll put the numbers up right now, actually. I'll put the total price charting value of everything that we're looking at in there. Um, that's assuming everything does work, of course. Anything that I'm like, it's probably not going to work, won't be counted. Um, I'm not going to count the PSPs because I have no idea on those. Most cartridge games you can get working unless they're physically damaged, which they don't seem to be. Uh, and like I said, most of those are in good shape. And we kind of went through these guys. We, we have a pretty good idea which ones are going to work. So I'll factor that out. So here's the total, how much I paid, and then how much the price charting value of everything you're looking at here actually is. And once again, I got this off eBay. It was just a random auction and somebody tried outbidding me and you know, five seconds left on the auction. I raised my bid by like 10 bucks and then I got it. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Uh, this is kind of another long one, but we went through a lot of stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in any of this stuff, uh, members get first crack. You can go ahead and become a member by clicking the join button down below or becoming a Patreon member. Just say, hey, I'm interested in X, Y, or Z. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, shoot you a 20% off. So basically, check out price charting, not 20% off, and that's what you get. You do have to pay shipping as well. So the more you buy, the more you save because uh, shipping works that way. Uh, but anyways, that's a, a deal that I do for the members if they want to go ahead and pick any of this stuff up. And you too can become a member and help support me on this channel. And uh, yeah, we'll keep making videos like this. So that'll do it for me here today. Hope you had fun and I'll catch you guys in the next video.